What's up guys, DK here with Collector's Impact, and today we're going to take a look at this random product from 1995. So this is the Hyborian Gates trading card game, or collectible card game, CCG back in those days, guys. <laughs> and um, the key thing to note about this is, look right here, featuring illustrations by Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell. So... Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell were the artists that actually did all of the artwork for the 1996 Marvel Masterpieces series. That series, as you guys probably are aware, is the rarest and the most valuable of all of the Marvel Masterpieces series, mostly because of the artwork, but also because of its short production run. So it had two very key things working in its favor, and some of those cards are worth quite a lot of money, and a sealed box is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's the Marvel Masterpieces, at least. This Hyborian Gates, however, is like $20 <laughs> for a booster box of 36 packs. So quite a stark difference there. So I figured that we would go ahead and open some of these packs just to admire some of the beautiful artwork from Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell as... Uh, as they are world famous artists and obviously have a nice history with Marvel and they did their own stuff on the side. So let's go ahead and bust into this and check it out. All right, let's uh, get out the handy dandy tool. So again, this was made in 1995 by Cards Company. <laughs> so what an interesting little thing here. And the very basic gist of this game is you control uh, monsters and vehicles and whatever else and you're trying to um to destroy gates and or take over dominions or whatever very basic kind of stuff um i will probably be researching the rules a bit more if i can find a friend that actually wants to try and play it or if it looks enticing so let's go ahead and see how it even looks if i even want to go that route but <clears throat> all right so here's the packs and you can see right out of the gate this one has uh it's got some aging and some damage there just from being sealed for so dang long. But man, look, in comparison to like old school magic, it's actually kind of similar to like a pack of uh, Fallen Empires or even Legends with the weird uh, color scheme here and the very basic font and everything. <laughs> Though it, it is like a foil pack, so it's more comparable in terms of pack size and uh, quality to something like Mirage, but with the look of something older. All right, man. <clears throat> Mark and defense. Um, Mark and defense. Does that not look like Mark Hamill, you guys? <laughs> Does that not look like uh, Luke Skywalker? <laughs> Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I think that's uh, that's definitely what they were going for. <laughs> that's hilarious. I love it. Oh, we got one upside down. Oh, God, this artwork's incredible, you guys. It's incredible. Holy crap. Yeah, there's that, like, 1990s uh, romance novel kind of look. Uh, these damn companies where they would put this stuff upside down. Walden or Warden's Castle. Ah, uh, Serpent Warriors. Damn, man. Yeah, the artwork's next level. Jeez, look at this. Whew. Okay. Ozarin Safety. So this one was drawn by Vallejo here, and it has a date of 1986. So that's interesting. They got to use some of their older artwork. They didn't have to commission new drawings for this particular set. And there's a gate, so that's cool. Um, not sure what this is. It's like a fan, a sticker. It's <laughs> some sort of sticker or cutout. God. Crimson Spheres of Valor. <laughs> Telling you, man, this is Sky City of Zen. I'd move there. Merlass. The Fire Axeman. Damn. Uh, he's like Xerxes combined with Arnold. Very weird. The White Lady. Uh, that's triggering these days. <laughs> All right. Uh, horse, <laughs> horse allies. Uh, 
Knight's Cloak. Dude. Zapper. <laughs> Just straight up Zapper. Now that's like some superhero inspirations for sure. Look at this. So you've got like a Green Arrow looking guy. You've got like a Wolverine knockoff guy. Um, you know, insert generic female superhero character knockoff there. And then there's like some weird mage looking. I mean, that artwork's great. Obviously can't knock it. It's just you can tell some inspiration. There's the tamer. My God. Yeah. <laughs> can tame me. Um, okay. Corbin. It looks like Cloud City in the background. I like how some of these things, like, this looks like Lethal Weapon or something. It's very interesting. Tav Mists. Interesting. Yeah, that's Boris artwork. Minor bold ones. Man. You know, some of the original artwork actually didn't have these uh, coverings there. I saw that online. So that's, <laughs> that's interesting to note. They edited them for some of the cards. Um, I obviously don't know all of them. I just saw a little bit of the art before going ahead and, and getting this and cracking these packs. This is really cool stuff. Red Field of Force. <laughs> That's funny. Ship of Boris. <laughs> what the hell? I love all the little Easter eggs. Ship of Boris. that you see there, Boris. Boris Vallejo. <laughs> his own ship and it looks like some Star Trek stuff god man reptile mistress these are great <laughs> the red cirrus uh, Kylo oh, so cool it's all over the place in terms of general theme but I guess that's kind of the point too I just wanted to go ahead and get a feel for the cards I don't know how many of them I'm going to open uh, but Figured we would enjoy this, so <clears throat> threes. Uh, yeah, dragon. Tendalia. Mercies. Quatzalastans. Lasten. <laughs> Uh, Vortex Dish, just more of these, and then they love these fans, I don't know, that's an interesting thing, they're in every pack. <clears throat> Quick Star, uh, Transport Bot, Blaze Goddess, The Fallen, uh, yeah, Power Within. Man, <clears throat> I think I'm going to open, like, two more packs and then just save the rest for a rainy day. What do you think, guys? I still have to research it more. But this is, uh, it's some freaking bizarre stuff sometimes. Like, look at this. Wow, what a weird... <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, it's really... I like it, though. It definitely has that flavor of the 96 Marvel masterpieces, just without the cool superheroes. God, the resistors. Feline. <laughs> uh, ooh, now that's nice. Mind jewel. Stuff like this I look I look for in terms of proxies for magic cards. Like if they have all five of the primary colors for the magic moxes, these would make great proxies for mox cards. You know, same thickness, same overall feel as a magic card. You just, you know, in a sleeve, obviously you can't see the back. Let's see the back, by the way. So that's what the back looks like. Yeah, it's definitely 90s-tastic. Leviathan of Taz. Uh, Flyers of the Vortex. You know, I, I wonder if they ever did any magic art. Uh, Vallejo here and uh, Julie. Guardians of the Mist. Feathered Mistress. Crimson Spheres, yeah. All right, one more pack, guys. One more pack for the road. You ask me, this product's well worth the money. Uh, 
at like 20 to 40 bucks after shipping and everything for just for having nice like artwork cards you, you really can't beat it there's no foils or anything like that at least not that I've seen but some of this artworks really good you guys strength bonus sky mistress oh that's nice man light bringers I mean look at the detail on that Berserker. My love for you is ticking clock berserker. <laughs> I'll let you look up the rest of that if you want to know the other lyrics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let's see. Flyers of the Vortex again. Guardian of the Mists. Now what the heck? Look at this weird like owl, tiger, bird thing with a woman's body and the feet of an eagle. It's, you know, some people are just extra creative, you guys. <laughs> um, that waist is very unrealistic or unhealthy. Like, it, it's going, it's like nice up here and then whatever that is. I don't know. I don't know. And the sky of Zen and the Merlass. Or Merlass is where we end. Well, guys, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to end the video for today. Uh, if you like these cards, if you want to see more cards, definitely let me know. But if you liked this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps with the channel and everything. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, subscribe to The Collector's Impact. Of course, would greatly appreciate that. Thanks again for coming by, guys, and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.